Uh, having the sweet massage of Ashley's gonna make me feel better about this. Hey guys, it's Steve here from Watch and Steve. Welcome, and I have to fight ECW again. So soon. Because Lord knows. Uh, Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. Come on. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hype. He's swinging for the fences with that sledgehammer. Yes, I am. He's all about bringing the hammer down, and that proves it. You feel like a jerk when someone counters you like that. <laughs> When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blow. There's the pin. One, Can his opponent two. kick out? I was say, if I finish a match that guy, then I don't want to hit shit from Tommy Green. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see it. Man, what a chair shot. Reminds me of my good old days as the hardcore champion. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad I wasn't around for that. Oh, my God, what a chair shot. Yeah, and that doesn't tickle, believe me. Oh man, man, it's awesome. I don't I'm think there's anything that Sepu oh, would do to an opponent if he thought it would win him the match. Well, what did you expect? He come. Look at him, he's just radiating confidence. And he's got a lot to be confident about. He looks a little overconfident to me. This could come back to bite him. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce so of weight between them. Time. You're Why looking at them right one, here. Man. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, damn, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Hey, you got to be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. Good. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he's using it for, and that's all that matters. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here. To he could get the One, pin right here. Two, three. Watch, my kid is going to limp out with the head. Like, oh no, I, I hope he doesn't have a serious injury. It's like. What? And I'm gonna be like, okay, fine. That one, I'll give it to that little sneak attack he did with that chair. I wasn't ready for it. He got the better of me. Fine. But if I get untouched that whole fight, I don't want to be limping at you like, oh man. I I don't think he's gonna be able to move properly after that. Like, bitch, I won. Oh my! I hope that's not a serious injury. Oh. He's walking on it, so it's not too bad. But this is disgraceful. Well, he did the best he could. I don't think you can fault him for that. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about ECW. How dare they come here and injure one of our superstars? Well, I can't imagine that SmackDown won't have a response. You're damn right. ECW. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just can't. I don't want to sit through the storyline again. Like last time they were like, hey, champ. And I'm, like, I'm not the champ yet. But now I'm the champion. And now it's just like, it, I, it, I feel like they don't mean nothing right now. I hope this ECW nonsense is behind us and we can get down to business, namely figuring out SmackDown's no mercy plans. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. What's my house looking like? Pain management.
I feel like Undertaker and Energy don't typically go together. Not that they can't, it's just that, like, he's not known for, like, his big opening speeches. Again, I don't remember the springboard elbow being her signature move. Like, ever. Unless I'm tripping, which I'm fairly certain I'm not. Welcome to SmackDown, where the ECW SmackDown conflict continues. This is Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside, and tonight, two of SmackDown's top superstars take on two of ECW's most dangerous superstars. ECW trying to take one of our guys out last week, and tonight, we're going to return the favor. There's a lot of pride on the line for both sides. And I hope that tonight is the night SmackDown sends ECW a pack in once and for all. Okay, I stand corrected. No, she did it. All right. And now I feel silly. I'm over here Googling stuff. He nearly injured one. Nearly injured my ass. I was fine. This man is no stranger to. No secret of his desire. After last. Sandman is without a doubt that. one of the most admired superstars in ECW. And that's just one of the many reasons ECW will always and forever stand for extremely crappy. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he's using it for, and that's all that matters. That's the way to do it. Grab a weapon from under the ring and start swinging. Okay, clearly this is not going in my favor. That was my fault. The Undertaker's got an impressive history here this. in Wouldn't WWE. Chair, but you're... God oh damn. My God, what a chair shot. No, no, yeah, yeah, and that doesn't right tickle, now. believe me. Man, what a chair shot. Reminds me of... 
relive my good old days as the hardcore champion. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad I wasn't around for them. There's the reversal. Nice reversal. He's swinging for the fences with that slap. There's a lot of things under the ring, and all of them hurt. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you can be cruiserweight champ inside a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. One, well, thanks, two. but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep... All right, time to see what we got Come under on. the ring. Reverse. Yeah, that's it. Do it again. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I can't say I am. Man, this one's turned into a fight. Pure and simple. Uh. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We've both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you anything can happen here in the WWE. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but there's the cover. One, two, three. And two. There we go. I've been looking forward. Let me get them on the bell now. Oh, no, I think the injury somehow got worse. It's like, what injury? Why is it? You didn't even hit me in the leg. You think I'd have a concussion? Or oh, I'm going to fall to the ground. You have to get carted out like a bitch. In front of everyone, all my peers. I'm the Match champion. is over, but he certainly doesn't seem happy. What do you expect? He put himself at risk fighting someone else's battles. What are you talking about? He was representing SmackDown against ECW. Yeah, and his partner stirred everything up by talking trash about ECW. That's your view of the situation. I call it SmackDown pride, personally. Yeah, well, pride goes before a fall, Michael, and his fall might be right around the corner at no mercy. <laughs> when I defeat you for your championship, it will be for the will of the creatures of the night, not some woman. I'm sorry, what? Hold on. Uh... I'm, I'm so lost. When I defeat you for your chance. Oh, I don't have a choice. I have to take now. Um... Well, considering they've screwed me over, how would I answer this? It's like, all right, considering they've screwed me over in the past and talked mad shit. Definitely happened. I don't know what to say about that. 
Uh-huh. I guess I'll get my fan favorite thing going here. You know, get all my appeal out of the way now. Because apparently I'm just awesome at everything. I don't know if this actually helps my legend progress, but it can hurt. Hey, I wanted to apologize for what I said in that interview. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry if I embarrassed you. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Good luck in your match this week. I'll I'll definitely be watching. Oh, see, and I almost feel kind of bad. I say almost. Yes, it went after my belt last time. And I am not cool with that. I didn't do anything yet. I said yet. <laughs> I didn't do anything in this. Cut me some slack, Jesus. Yeah, I think if I do it on Raw, because I think a similar storyline happened on Raw at some point. I think it's Shawn Michaels that says, like, hey, don't mess Welcome with Welcome to SmackDown. No Mercy is less than one month away. I'm Michael Cole here with JBL and John. It sounds like the champion's got a not-so-secret admirer. That is so typical of you, Michael. You're thinking about gossip when he's got a championship defense in three weeks. You don't think it's worth mentioning that Stephanie McMahon alluded to having a little crush on him. Maybe if I was a seventh grade girl, I would. Grow up. Okay, I, uh, I don't usually sign your JBL, but I appreciate it at least. It's just like, it's like, you know, leave the gossip to the side. It's the actual championship match in a couple weeks. Champion against getting man, news travels fast in this area. The but again, that's isn't that isn't on point the point. Like, technically, Undertaker has worked with the McMahons before as like an enforcer, but it's also one of those things that like it makes more sense for Shawn Michaels to tell you this stuff versus Undertaker just being like, It's the creatures of the night, will it? It's, it's like, What? Hold on, it's like, What creatures of the night are you referring to? I like the idea that Undertaker is just outside of his like persona, it's just like an advocacy or something. Okay, yeah, I'm not even gonna give him that. I'm five nine. I'm not looking eye to eye with the Undertaker because let's not forget he is a big boy. He made his opponent look like a chump with that counter. Oh yeah, oh right there. Okay, okay, okay. Quick on your hands, man. Take it. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching, man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. Bang, 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 bang. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you got that kind of hype, it's tough to live up the expectation, but these superstars aren't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. I wish that was a thing we could do in the game. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the like legendary dead man. The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long, and the dead man's been there for a long, long time. That might be true, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the phenom. 
This capacity oh. crowd is making their opinions known tonight. Yeah, the WWE fans aren't known for keeping their opinions to themselves. What a counter that was. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. God damn, this dude's just... I say all these hits. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. Oh my, right. this doesn't look good. That depends on your perspective. If you're the one who just slammed your opponent's knee into the ring post, things are definitely looking the hell are you setting up for? The superstar is all fired up. So How am I able to pick up Undertaker out. right now is a real question. Well, one mistake and we're going to see that fire put out pronto. <sighs> Half of the Undertaker style is about getting inside his opponent's head. If you can keep your cool in the ring with him, you got a chance. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man. You can't forget about that. God damn. You can. The man's a legend. That's why I didn't bother mentioning it. Watch it. Okay. He reversed it. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You got to watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. Damn. This motherfucker hits hard. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside the year. Oh no, I've heard stories about the way you yeah, train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are right, you come on? Quit showing off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this come on, come on, he's back up, back up. Style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. Oh come on, not again. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing Hi, left come on. to give. Focus. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford yeah. to either. I'd love to know where you're coming up with this stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. <laughs> Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE superstars anywhere else, Cole. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. I love hearing a crowd come alive. Eve, there's the cover. Can he do it? Well, that answers that question. The Undertaker's got an impressive history here in WWE, but you're only as good as your last match. How can you say that? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. Undertaker has earned his rep, no doubt about it, but you gotta know when to call it a day. There's a fine line God between damn. legend and no has been. I can't heaven. believe you can sit here and even imply that The Undertaker might be a has-been. That could be hazardous to your health. Maybe that's why I didn't come out and say it again. I'm just saying the thing about being at the top is there's nowhere to go but down. God damn. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner. But it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. Oh, come on. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. Uh, and that's a I good thing. I don't even again. like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we Instead of pandering the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Come on, you're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy to win the match. There 
there isn't an ounce of quip in these superstars. The hell there certainly me. isn't. They're in this one. Here it is. He's building up ahead of Steve, okay. and he's about to let his opponent have it. And nice. if his Next. opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. These fans have got something they want to share with us. That's their right. They paid for their tickets after all. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's Fuck. pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a win? You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. This is sad. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Hey, you got to be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You know that if you actually ever step between those ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. You know, I'm going to replace you with somebody who actually knows what we're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. You can't let that break your focus, but that's easier said than done. He's got this crowd solidly behind him, and now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep going into the crowd. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. He's going for the cover. One, two, three. Oh. Man, this one's turned into a fight. Yeah, what? Why someone come out and celebrate with me now? I'm be like, look, man, if I had lost that match, I don't think I would have been in the mood to celebrate. Yeah, if anything, I think they might have we we did have a crush. We like, you know what? Second time, I think I prefer the Undertaker. For the second time in two weeks, he leaves the ring in rage. He's not known for being a patient man. He wants his championship match right now. Well, after what we just saw, he might well have earned it. Exactly. Yeah. So why wait? Let's make it official right now. I think a match that big needs to take place on a much bigger stage, John. It needs to happen at no mercy. And I think you're just trying to cover up for our cowardly, opportunistic champion. Oh, man, I got a chance to be saying that the whole time, man. Okay, storylines are jumping all over the place. Wait, what? Congratulations on the big win last week, champ. That match was so exciting that I got permission from your GM to manage you this week. I hope you don't mind, but I wanted to be right next to you when you won your next big one. Oh, hell yeah. Five star match, Sam B. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the true secret to making it in this business. Okay, first of all, it, I think I always make it sound like I had a, well, this is, like I had no saying this apparently, but I can't just be like, yeah, no, it's not like that. 
Because again, I can't say anything about it. The storyline just happened. And it's like, that's not my fault. I just heard that my daughter Stephanie is going to be managing you in your match this week. You better make sure that nothing happens to my little girl, or there's going to be hell to pay. Again, I haven't done a thing. I have actively avoided it. And apparently I'm still unsatisfied. What the hell? I am just so hard to read. Oh, thank God. If I was to fight Undertaker again, I probably would lose. is only two weeks away. Michael Cole and JBL are ringside, and we're hearing that the billion-dollar princess, Stephanie McMahon, will be on SmackDown tonight. She's taking a shine to the champion, and she insists on being at ringside for his match. Can you imagine how bad things would get for the champ if Mr. McMahon's daughter got hurt during this match? If the champ's got any brains, he'll make sure she doesn't get anywhere near the action. I'm trying to remember, who did he, did he ever manage somebody, or am I thinking of someone else? He considers himself a legitimate contender. There's so many people in this game, I don't think I've actually wrestled yet. Word has it that the... Like, at all. Like, I know I fought certain names, but again, I don't think I, there's like certain SmackDown Super Souls I feel like I haven't even fought yet. And for some reason, in the back of my mind, I keep thinking, like, there's someone you're not thinking about right now. But for some reason, I'm also just like, I don't even think they are in this game. Because I'm pretty sure they don't wrestle anymore. I don't I don't remember if Schnitzky is a wrestler. I know he was a person at some point. I do recall that. I don't remember if he's in this game, though. You can show off for the crowd if you want, but all that does is let your opponent rest up. Actually, I think it's a great display of confidence yeah. on the part of this great superstar. Of course. I anticipated that move perfectly. Finally, someone can actually look in the eyes when I fight. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. Come on, quit showing off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. I guess the show him, he's just for the billion dollar contest. And he's got a lot to be confident about. He looks a little overconfident to me. This could come back to bite him. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Oh man, these WWE fans are fired up. Fired up. They sure are. The most, and you know that's going to have like, an effect on this match. That, yes, the most interesting thing. You'd be throwing out big moves just to deal with some damage. If you also, if you also I certainly don't envy the referee the one move this will match. Be your last. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place you want to be if you're not okay. a superstar yourself. Trust me. I know. Come on, wake up. Wow, Dude. great reversal. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, but if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. 
<laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. It sounds like this capacity crowd has... He could pin his opponent right One, here. Two, three. Yeah, I did. A lot of people think... Again, the way these storylines kind of just force my character into a situation where it's like, it, it gives you like an illusion of choice, which is what I don't like about it. It was like, it, you have the option to do stuff, sort of, but then not really. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. Let me say you're such a good sport. You seeing what I'm seeing? It looks like the champ's got a not so secret admirer. It never hurts to have a McMahon on your side in this business. Yeah, but the king might have something to say about it. <laughs> I'm just over here hot dog here for no reason. I'm just like, yeah, that's right. I'm just but at the same time I keep thinking like, yeah, this is probably a stupid idea. Let's not do this. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure Mr. McMahon can yet positive. Listen, say. I don't like how close you're getting with my daughter. I've specifically forbidden her to get involved with any of my superstars, and there will be severe consequences for anyone who defies me. I mean, it, 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 I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> well, I'm not able to reach him. Yeah, I'm probably getting stuffed in the back of a trunk right now, being murdered by like Mr. McMahon's like hired assassins. <laughs> okay, you got like, see, that's what gets me is like, I have things I can do and the first thing that he's like yeah either release from I was like I got like another week or two you mean to tell me I can't tough it out for like a week or two <laughs> also what's the point of having alternate costumes for that if I'm just gonna if they're just gonna show me in my ring attire I almost never get to see my other stuff because I didn't do any of that. Hey, champ. I'm going to be managing you again this week. Oh, and um, I've got another surprise for you after the match that I think you're really going to like. I swear to God, if I have to pay for my own bachelor party. That, no, that'd be like, that reminds me of that one movie. It was a, uh, I'm trying to remember. It was like a Kevin, you, you know the Kevin Hart movie with like the wedding ringer or whatever it's supposed to be? Because the guy doesn't have any friends. And so it's like, yeah. Wait, what? Motherfucker, there ain't no subject attached. You can't send messages with no subject. Your phone won't let you do that. Now I worry about your nonsense. One, two, there's only three matches left. Hmm, weird. She said she was supposed to manage, but she's not here. How bizarre. One thing that always gets me about this, I feel like. No mercy is only one week away. Michael Cole and JBL at ringside, and tonight the champion faces a third contender in what might prove to be a no mercy preview. Uh -oh. And the champ had better focus on this match instead of his love life if he knows what's good Again. for him. Stephanie McMahon's infatuation with the thing. champ has been met with a chilly reception from her father. And if this keeps up, the champ's going to get no mercy from Mr. McMahon a week from Sunday.
And again, my whole thing is just like, why? Like, hell, even in the old games where Divas were uh, part of a storyline, you had options. You could talk to them. You could talk to them nice. You could talk to them more. You can treat them good. You could, like, steal them from other people. That kind of stuff. But you still had options. And at the end of it, they became the man the for the champion. And you had options to use them whenever you were in a match, not immediately involved to the storyline. Or one that well, would jump into like a new cutscene or some shit or whatever. It's like, you had options. But now it's just like, they're here. And they're either with you or against you. Nine times out of ten, they're against you. Because, yeah. Like, they're never on your side anymore. Alright, come here. He was one step ahead on that one. Don't take this hands with him personally. I was watching Harlem Man, Nights. What a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars. And even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. Hmm. That for I sure. Like the idea. Me, a former WWE champion has had his share of injuries over the years. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match and the fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. And there's the counter. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really keep your head in the match. Come on, you're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that Dance energy to win the match. My weakness. Mr. Kennedy's my kind of superstar. He'll tell you exactly what he thinks of you, and then he'll back it up in the ring. He certainly isn't shy about sharing his opinions, that's for sure. But I, for one, could do without that enormous ego of his. <laughs> Look at that. That's going to go over back to the fans and build some momentum at the same time. Yep. You gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. We're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight. I'm all for freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. <laughs> I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The me you know, there's such a thing as paying to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. These superstars are so game. unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. I don't think you're going to be able to just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next man this crowd is really swelling this guy's head there's no doubt that these fans love him and he's feeding off that energy right now <laughs> these superstars have been giving it everything they've got all night he's going for the pin what and you just Two. can't put anything over on these fans you sure can't they see everything and they'll let you know about it Mr. Kennedy's got it all. He's got the look, he's great on the stick, and he knows how to get it done in the ring. Yeah, and if you don't believe it, just ask him. He won't hesitate to tell you how great he is. Yeah, so what's wrong with that? Kennedy's the total package, and he knows it. Mm. I've been looking forward to this match all night. 
So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated okay, matchups in recent now. weeks. Well, and usually when you got that kind of hype, it's tough to live up to expectation, but these superstars aren't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. This has been a great match so far. It's pretty obvious yeah. which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and act? Here's the pin. One, two, three. Who did it? Without a doubt, Ken Kennedy is one of the most. like Stephanie's got something to say. I promised you a surprise, so here goes. What now? This might seem sudden, but we McMahons aren't known for wasting time. <laughs> I want to marry you next week, right here in this ring. Uh, what? I don't think Mr. McMahon is going to like it if he says yes. Yeah, but Stephanie is not exactly someone you say no to. <laughs> That is not a good look. See, it's the thing where it's like, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Because if I say yes, Mrs. Man's gonna be pissed. If I say no, yeah. <laughs> you better not even think about accepting that proposal, mister. I swear, I will make your life a living hell. And again... You know, here being married to Steph is no picnic. Then again... It might be one of the best career moves you ever make. So, hey, you might want to consider it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you also said you don't respect me, man. I, I remember this. Well, uh, I know my proposal came as a shock to you, and I've tried to be patient and give you time to think about it, uh, but the suspense is killing me. I need to know. Is it yes or no? I don't get on your favorite color. I'm sorry. It's like, it's a bit, it's a bit too sudden. Uh, I don't like this. This is yeah, yeah. Again, stress. This is freaking me out. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna another security event. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be friendly. Don't we're gonna go, we're gonna go to an event. It's gonna be friendly. It's gonna be wholesome. There's gonna be people dying in the hospital or something. And then we're going to make them feel good. And it's going to increase my character's morale. And I'm not going to be so weirded out by all this. And it's going to be... It's, it's going to be okay. It's going to be alright. Oh, no. Oh, that was a kiss. And have a quick coffee date. You know, get my head on straight. Yeah, I, was say, I think if I say yes, it would have been like a handicap match and I would have been jumped. Which is usually what happens when Mr. McMahon is mad at you. Ooh, 23%. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. It's actually pretty good for the better movie. Yeah, I remember now, if I say yes, I had to do a handicap match. And if you win or lose, I get so hurt that I can't meet her, I guess, for the proposal. And she gets pissed off. But this one is like, yeah, it's a singles match. I win and then I'm good. We are just two days away from I No think. Mercy live on pay per view. This is Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside, and Stephanie McMahon's proposal to our champion is the talk of the entire sports entertainment world. And meanwhile, let's not forget that the champ has a title defense this Sunday. And we still don't know who his opponent is or what kind of match it'll be. 
Well, I know Mr. McMahon's not too pleased with him, so it's not going to be a walk in the park. I can't hazard a guess as to who I'm fighting. Like, who else would it be? Nope. I just gotta get through this part, which shouldn't be too difficult, but I don't know. This is the tricky part here. There's no right answer in this game because it's all, it gives you the illusion of choice because whether you do this, that, or the other, you're still locked in the storyline. It's going to keep going forward regardless of what you do. Maybe there'll be a slight cutscene change here and there, but it's all the same. It always is. And it doesn't go away. What gets me though is that this game doesn't really have you don't feel like people, don't certain people get that from up there. No kidding. No like, matter what call you like, make, you're going to get a bad side at least one superstar. You win a match, and, and you, oh, you make some decisions during certain cuts. You're going to get what you're doing. But they give you the option to do what? You can sneak somebody. You're going to attack them. You can pick the match you want to be. These superstars have been giving it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstar. Why doesn't he put his money where his mouth is and continue with the match? Come on. Hey, hey don't get hot. He's yeah. just having a little fun here. Oh. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, thing, like, you've got to sacrifice thing, like, yeah, just about it was everything for your career. Sure, it was if you want the match. You, or it was anything like, else in your life. Belt or what not, you won't get in the life. But at the same time, you can, you can be little tidbits so here and there, little things in between that you can do on top of it. Go ahead. I'll become a heel. Poison. This guy. Go ahead. Like they give you options. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds. Yeah, and ten thousand paying customers can't be wrong. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to... Look at them, pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we oh, see no, it paying off. Or is he just that fucking heavy? I picked up Undertaker earlier, so that can't be it. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake and we're going to see. Oh, no. The referee is down. What's going to happen now? Anything and everything. Come on. No I'm red means no I'm rules. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in the That isn't going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. No superstar. Watch it. He reversed it. Look at that. Damn. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. 
I don't know why, this is like a weird flashback to the, you all remember the Powerpuff Girls movie that came out a couple of years ago? Okay, Kennedy couple, a good while ago. He's got the look, he's great on the stick, and he knows how to get it done in the ring. Yeah, and if you don't believe it, just ask him. He won't hesitate to tell you how great he is. Yeah, so, what's wrong with, he wasted no time going for that pen. Holy oh, shit, thank you. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this Mother at home. Fucker. Absolute come on. Quit show it off. This is a wrestling match, That's not a, a popularity game. contest. We've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up okay, with a big King, payoff. You are really starting to piss me off. This capacity crowd is certainly getting its money's worth here tonight. And it's a good thing, too. If they're not buying tickets, we're not getting paychecks. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about selling tickets the next time we come back here. Not after a match like this. Man, this one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We've both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you anything you. can happen here in WWE. My thing, everything. Come here. On the mat, shoulders One, down. This could two, be it. Three. And the ring of Man, you just I can't it. put anything over on the <laughs> The champion appears to be leaving the arena in high spirits. He's probably just happy to escape that match without being injured. Or maybe he's happy that he seems to finally have shaken Stephanie McMahon's affections. Yeah, but there's an old saying, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And I think that goes double for women named McMahon. If he broke Stephanie's heart, he might get something of his broken this Sunday. And again, like, why am I celebrating so much? Like, this is, makes me look terrible. Because if you say no, it makes it seem like you're the bad guy. It's like, what am I supposed to say yes in this situation? It's like a morning. I hate to say it, but I think Stephanie McMahon's been left at the altar. I don't believe it. This is career suicide for the champ. Not to mention utterly heartless. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that too. He's got to have an excuse. There's not an excuse in the world that Stephanie's going to accept. And hell hath no fury like a McMahon scorn. Again, how is that my fault? Or oh, my problem, actually. Hold on. Because last I checked, no. I didn't do anything. What the heck? Ah, Claire, you're officially a SmackDown legend. Hell yes. You're world class ass, and you're officially a millionaire. That's so right. You ain't me up, sweet down with me over hip hop. This is just for a long time. Hell yes. What is that? Maybe you put the hurdle halfway. It isn't nice. You look at the one. So get going and finish calling that man. Hell yeah. My sister's been crying all night, and it's all your fault. I'm gonna make you pay for what you've done, but I'm not gonna do it in the ring. You won't know when, you won't know where, but trust me, it's gonna happen. You broke my little girl's heart. Now, I'm going to break you. There's a pay-per-view this Sunday in case you've forgotten. You're going to put your championship on the line. You pay. <laughs> Why is everyone giving me shit for this? Your championship reign and your career ends this Sunday at no mercy. Ho, 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 ho. I have not seen this match in years. 
Not since the one where it's like Eddie Guerrero steals the urn and you have to fight him. I want to say that was in 2007. Welcome to No Mercy. Mm -hmm. And there will be no mercy whatsoever for the champ tonight. The championship is on the line against one of SmackDown's most feared superstars. And it's not just any match. It's a buried alive match. One superstar walks out with the championship. The other is buried alive. It all happens tonight, live on pay-per-view. Oh, sounds like I'm gonna lose. Oh shit. And it's another ambush by Shane McMahon. The champ broke his sister's heart when he left her at the altar, and this is payback. The champ was damned if he did, and damned if he didn't. That's the problem with getting caught between McMahons, Michael. And what will this do to the champ's chances of successfully defending his title? I think we should get ready to crown a new champion. His championship reign already has one foot in the grave. I mean, I don't like those odds. Oh, shit. Oh, Okay. He made his opponent look like a chump with that counter. Look at them, pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. Oh no, he's looking for a weapon. This could cause a serious injury. That's the plan. But I need it. Wow, what a shot! That sledgehammer will mess you up, but good. And I can't imagine yeah, and again, anyone I can come want back to from say something like I that. Shawn Michaels on Raw, if I do this. That was a textbook reversal. I'm pretty sure it's, this is one of those universal storylines that goes on both brands. Man, this was like, turned into wrong. a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was good. You can find all sorts of weapons under that ring. The Undertaker's got... He's swinging for the fences with that sledgehammer. He's all about bringing the hammer down, and that proves it. He was one step ahead on that one. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been... Come on, let's show it off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before. Oh, man. He's been so wrestling his style of match, and he's exactly. coming up That's on a big payoff. All right, come on. I don't remember how to play this. I'm going to help me out I don't out think here. anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars yeah. is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. Did you see that? What a shot. This could result in a serious injury if no one stops this. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. That was when he was like a power bomb, and I said, no, and hit that motherfucker with like a running instant bulldog in there, and then the thing just closes on him. And there you have it, the fate of the 
the championship has been decided. Not to mention the fate of a certain unlucky superstar. I mean, it's not the one. champ that whole wedding thing it was something we cooked up to spark interest in the pay-per-view i should feel bad but it completely worked and what's good for the business is good for everyone right no hard feelings motherfucker I'm a winner, this says me. Oh, hey. Is this a new... Oh, it's a higher up locker room now. Hmm? Oh, you poor simp. I'm so glad you think that. Also, what the hell is my stuff looking like? Okay, some more on and on. Work on some fan training. Alright, easy enough. First joust? I'm sorry. I'm on the bottom communicate with you. Next time that you should forfeit your crime to Mr. Kennedy and Sarah Sandra and could then you'll be back. I'm giving Queen my night legal, my night friendly for that love and shit. You know what? I don't think I've fought William Regal yet. Why the hell not? I should be like, you actually thought I would let you pick. Like that ladder match is somehow my specialty, even though I've only won one out of like three of them. Okay, I'm at 88. Let's see. Aww. Hey, just calling to wish you good luck in your match. I know it's not for the championship, but I know that doesn't matter to you. And that's why you're the king of this brand, as far as I'm concerned. Is that positive reinforcement? Ha. Ah, it's actually kind of nice. It's so good to be recognized. Oh, man. Look at tears coming to my eyes. <laughs>